Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy. Today we will talk about the proof of the claim that was discussed in the previous video of the definition of the basis when we are uncertain about the topology on a set X but we have a collection of the subsets of X. So the first condition was that union of that elements of the collection is equal to X and the second was that if we pick a pair from that collection and we pick an element from that intersection then there must be an element from that collection such that b3 that is an element is a subset of the intersection and this was the graphical representation of the second condition so proving the first condition that is union of all of the elements from the collection is equal to x so the given part is that collection is a basis of any topology tau and the target is the union of all of the elements from the collection is x. If we suppose that the collection B is a basis of any topology tau, so by definition we can say that for all of the open elements from x or all of the elements from the topology, there must be some elements from that collection B such that U is equal to union of elements from this B prime. That is the definition of, of the basis that were discussed about when X is a set and tau is a topology. That this B, this collection is said to be a basis on a topology if for all of the elements of the topology there are some elements from the collection such that u is equal to the union of that some some elements from this b so if we assume that some elements are from this set b prime so it was easy to write b belongs to that set b and that set b is that some sm subset of this set in order to form the union u and by definition of the topology we know that if x belongs to tau so x is also an open set this definition is true for for all of the elements of the topology and x is also an element of the topology so this definition is also true for x thus we can write x is equal to union of b that belongs to this collection b and we have proved the property by just using the definition of the basis and the definition of the topology so looking forward toward the second condition second property states that if there are two elements b1 and b2 from the basis set and there is element x that is common into b1 and b2 that are elements from the basis so there must be another element from the basis such that that element of basis is in the intersection of two bases and the point x is also present in that b we can also state that for every pair of b1 b2 that is in the basis and for every x that is in b1 intersection b2 there exists a b that is an element from the b basis such that x is an element of b and b is a subset of b1 intersection b2 so let's prove this it is given that b1 and b2 are members of the basis b and by using the first condition that x is equal to union of all of the elements of the b we can say that b1 and b2 are elements of tau for any tau and by definition of the topology b1 intersection b2 must also be in tau the finite intersection property first we have used the definition of here the topology and we have used the first condition that union of all of the elements of the basis because x is also a member of tau that is why we can say b1 and b2 is also a member of tau so the elements of tau are known as open sets so let u is equal to b1 intersection b2 
and it's a member of tau from here. We know that for all of x that belong to u, there must exist an element from the basis such that x belongs to that b and is a subset of u. This was the definition and proved in one of the previous videos about uh, the sufficient and the necessary theorem of the basis. So if this is true, and we know that this is true, so by using this we can say that x belongs to b and b is a subset of b1 intersection b2. By just replacing u with b1 intersection b2 and this was just the second condition that we have to prove that this whole b1 intersection b2 is a member of of topology and there is ex exists a b that contains the point x and is a subset of the intersection and this is what the second condition states about the basis to form a topology so both conditions are satisfied here and this is for now if you're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye